Hey, it's Ella from the Spline team. Today, we'll show you how you can export a 3D scene from Spline and embed it into your website created with Wix or Wix Studio. The scene we'll be using is a friendly robot that you can find in our community, along with many other 3D designs. You can search for it as Droid, but we'll also leave the link in the description so you can remix it and use it too. In this design, I used a white color for my character, which I created using matte caps and spline. To keep my scene optimized, I made sure to keep the material simple and avoid using many layers. To create a material asset, all you have to do is click on the four dot icon here and then click on the plus icon here. And now you can name it and then apply it to any other object in your scene. This helps reduce data and processing, making your scene lighter and faster, perfect for the web. If you want to edit your material asset, just go to assets in the left-hand panel, click on that material asset, and then here you can edit, and those edits will automatically be applied to any object using that asset. And another thing to keep your scene fast and optimized for the web is lowering the subdivision level. Aim for just one to two subdivisions. Most objects look great at these levels and it boosts performance without sacrificing quality. Now let's add a bit of interactivity. Let's select our object and add a new event. And we'll use one of my favorites, the look at event. And just like that, this makes our character face our cursor. It is so easy to apply. Now we're almost ready to export. I'll set my background opacity to 0% to export with a transparent background. Click export, then select the viewer option for the embed. Below we can check if the scene is optimized, which it is, it's looking pretty good. Click on update viewer to make sure my export includes all of the adjustments that I made, and then we can click copy embed at the top. Now let's go to Wix. Here we can find various templates ready for editing and adding our 3D element too. Let's click on the plus icon and go to the embed code. Select popular embed and then click on the plus icon on the embed HTML. Now simply paste the code generated by Spline here Click update and it's ready. Now we can adjust the embed here to make it look better. Okay, so if we click preview, we can now see how this interactivity works with our character as it faces the cursor. If you make adjustments in your spline scene, like changing the color or the size or position, whatever it might be, just click update viewer and you will see those changes automatically made on your website. And make sure you refresh your Wix project to ensure the latest version will be on display. If you're going to use Wix Studio, the process is very similar. Just click the plus icon here, go to embed and social, and select embed code and click the plus icon. Now you can adjust the iframe as needed. Click enter on the code and paste this line code again. Click update and there's our little friend again. You can make a few adjustments if needed and click preview. And that's it. That was a pretty quick tutorial on how to bring interactive 3D scenes into your Wix websites. We hope this video helps those looking to use Wix to integrate 3D designs onto their websites. 
And if you're interested in integrating your 3D scenes into other projects, say for Figma, Framer, Webflow, Notions, Shopify, and more, check out the integration section in the Spline Docs. You can find many 3D designs, interactive contents, and inspiration in our community. There you can find interactive scenes like this computer. And don't forget, you can always reach out to us on Discord. We are happy to see you there. All right, see you in the next one. Bye for now.